Hi everyone, welcome to the Prep Zone Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Estevam Devino, and I have you with me from the girls' field hockey, state champs, uh, Tyler Osgan and Sophie Fidalgo. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you, Sophie? Good, how are you? Thank you for having us. Of course. No, thank you guys so much for being here. You know, it was so much fun uh, watching you guys in the state run this year. We're going to talk about that. But before we get into that, I do want to do some personal stuff with you guys, some quick hits, right? Mm -hmm. So that before we get going, the audience can kind of get to know you guys a little bit, you know, outside the field, all right? So I'll ask the questions and you guys can take turns going first because, you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right. So Tyler, we'll start with you. Name one guilty so pleasure song in your playlist. Um, <laughs> I would say Baby by Justin Bieber. All right. I I'm a Bieber guy, too. I like that. How about you, Sophie? Um, some of that Spanish music, you know? Bad yeah. Bunny. You know, kind of okay, so yeah, no, I, I do. I, I like Brazilian music, too, so <laughs> yeah. I, I'm with you. I like that. Uh, so, Sophie, you, uh, what is the last series you binge-watched? Um, How I Met My Mother. On Netflix, yeah. Nice. Sophie? I'm sorry, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> um, I started Bridgerton recently, so that's what I've been watching. Yeah, I, I didn't get into that. My wife did. It's, uh, but I, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, um, Tyler, what is the coolest thing in your room? Um, I would say my state championship medal. I like that. Yeah, Sophie? I was going to say my medals, yeah. My okay, cool. All right. All right. Um, so if you first, aside from family, name one thing you can't live without. Ooh, um, I did a side from family because everybody goes family. Yeah, we know family. Yeah, yeah, give yeah, me yeah, something yeah, yeah. else, you know. <laughs> well, field hockey. I mean, yeah. uh, I like that. Right for it, uh, Tyler. Um, I would say chicken. chicken? I love chicken. <laughs> I love eat chicken. chicken every day. I like what's your like uh, grilled, uh, fried, any kind like of chicken. Any chicken. But you know, what my favorite is rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. It's like $10. Straight protein, so good. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, it's underrated. Like, now, funny story about that. So in Brazil, like they have, we used to call it TV for dogs. Because the mm -hmm. way the rotisserie chicken would be like beside, it'd be like almost like in the side of the road with like this big thing and, and they'd just be rotating. And the dogs would just sit there all day it's and watch so the chicken good. rotate. And we'd come and buy them, right? Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. It's a big thing, like especially when I come from Brazil, I was telling you guys, and you know, right before, like, you know, usually Sunday, you go to, you go to like, uh, you know, the bakeries, or whatever mm -hmm. they sell it. Because in Brazil, it's not in a grocery store. And you buy a couple of those, right? And then the family would go nuts on that stuff. I totally agree. So we do, You're we from do. Brazil? From Brazil. I used to live there. Where did you live in Brazil? Uh, Sao Paulo and Jo Pessoa. Nice. Some I, you know, we are from Rio, Petrópolis, yeah. you know, that's right. so it's like more, but that's cool. I did not know that. How mm -hmm. much Portuguese do you speak? Well, not anymore, but it was my first language before, but now I forget it. Really? All right. Well, we'll try some Portuguese <laughs> later for your audience. And then Tyler just sit here and like, hey, what are you guys talking I'll about? I'll you guys on. I know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, this is for Sophie first. Which superhero would you pick to be your best friend and why? Superman, because he can fly. <laughs> Tyler? Um, I would say the Hulk because I would never get into a fight. <laughs> I like that. All right. Uh, so, Tyler, you first. Aside from field hockey, what is your favorite thing to do as a hobby or in your free time? I would say hang out with my friends and like go out and just like not even have plan, just like hang out. No plan, just yeah. like, spontaneous, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Probably the same, but to be different. Um, I like watching soccer a lot with my family. So. So you excited? Copa America, you know, Definitely, coming up yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah Argentina today, starts yeah. tonight, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna have. It's like the month of soccer. Like this, yeah, uh, this, uh, this is, yeah, yeah. It's like it's been so great, right? Yeah. Um, oh, well, guys, thank you so much for being so open and all those questions, right? Uh, and you're both this year. I mean, we we had an amazing year for you guys, right? Yeah. So, full disclosure. I had never watched a field hockey game until I watched you guys play that game. The <laughs> overtime game was breast awareness. Uh, remember that game? Oh, Greenwich. Yes. Yeah, Greenwich. So like you guys yeah. went to overtime. And here's why I, mean, I fell in love with the sport right away. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you guys why. Um, I, you know, as I, you know, watch a lot of soccer and I hate, I, I not hate, I dislike uh, penalty kicks. So my idea for soccer was always like, well, when we start overtime, you, each team should have less players for more space. And you guys go on overtime, and it happens exactly what I've been saying my entire life. And I'm like, this is awesome. This is like, uh, you know. Yeah. But aside from that, it, it is really cool. Um, Tyler, let's we'll start with you. I mean, how fun was this season? How fun was that run? I mean, it's honestly been like just a dream because this year we've been like, or last year we've been really focusing on team bonding and just like, even if we don't make it that far, like we just want to have that chemistry. And you really see the love like all the way through to the very end, like 
it was there and that's I think what propelled us and it's just such an integral part of our team like just loving each other and doing it for each other and being a team and I think that is one of the main reasons we were able to be so successful yeah I mean how about for you Sophie what do you think was like you know how fun was it last year I mean I know your program has won a lot right but uh especially last year how was it yeah I mean it was the first one for us so that was definitely special um also for the seniors getting to send them off with that it was just like really rewarding for them as well yeah I I thought it was fun I mean it's like you know and it was interesting I had so I had coach Ian on the podcast right before the season (laughs) started because I was reaching out to other coaches right yeah and I remember like watching videos before mm-hmm. so I could really kind of pick some questions up, right? And I'm sh- I look back on him like, man, my, like I knew nothing about it. He <laughs> indulged me in like, on these questions. They were like very, you know, mm-hmm. trivial about the mm-hmm. game. But I mean, I, I've, I've really, it's one of the things I've discovered, you know, that it's been really enlightening for me that, in, that, in that sport. Now, and you guys also last year, you both reached 100 points. Was it the same game? Because I know, I know, I remember the picture. It was like both you guys had the 100 points. It was like, I know it was the same yeah, day, but yeah. or was it different games? I think she got it before, but we realized like that same day. So we were like, okay, we'll do it together. Uh, okay, we'll do it together. Yeah. I, just did I didn't know. Because I was, she was kept saying the whole week, she was like, I have a surprise for you. I was like, I don't know. What you're, and then we were playing and I think like, Somebody scored or like, I don't, I don't know, I scored or something. And she goes to me in the game as we're running back to the half line. She goes, you're definitely getting your surprise. I was like, <laughs> Sophie, like, I'm in the middle, like, what are you saying? And then I like figured it out. God, yeah, no, that, was, that was really cool. Now, see, seriously, you didn't even know about it. I had you, no you, idea. You, had, you know, uh, so you just, that's just going on. But she knew about it. She's like, oh, she's <laughs> yeah. going to get it, right? Well, you're a captain, right? This like, yeah. year, you're both a captains. We're missing Emma. We're going to mm-hmm. get her on the podcast mm-hmm. as well. Uh, but it was really cruel. Cool. And you both um, were um, all FCAC and all state players last year. A tremendous year. Now, I do want to say, um, I there's very specific things I remember about the season, right? Uh, that was really cool. Now, I want to talk about the state final first. So you guys had lost to Darien in the FCAC. And I've seen, like, a, that's been, like, a little bit of the theme with all these sports. Team that wins FCAC has a tough time in state, right? It's just, mm-hmm. and you guys are the other way. But um, Tyler, to you that game, the minute you guys scored, Coach Ian goes and puts you in the back. Was that yeah. something you guys had talked about before the game? Or is this like a spur of the moment thing? And how did you feel about that? Okay, this is actually really funny because yeah. for club and for the off season, like I, I play center back, like that's just my position. And ever since my freshman year at Staples, I've always been played in forward. And... In the beginning of the season, Ian sat me down. He was like, I know you play defense. And we have the same conversation every single year. It's like, <laughs> I know you play defense for club, but for stables, I need you for forward, which is like totally fine. I really don't care. I really don't care. And I didn't know. We didn't talk about this at all. Like, I had never played defense all season. I haven't practiced it or anything. And he, all I remember is he's like, Tyler, go back. And I was like, I don't, I was so confused. And I just started running back there. I was like, okay, like, I'll that's, just that's, go. I, <laughs> I specifically remember, I think you scored a first goal, mm-hmm. right? You scored yeah. a goal. Yeah. And then all I see is like, Tyler, like, yeah. boom, moving back. I'm like, wait, this is, because I, again, I followed you guys. I didn't see you play defense yeah. once, yeah. all the time. For Then all of a sudden you go back. And I'm like, all right, this is new. And like, I yeah. took a note right away of it. Like, what happened there? But it's just, you, you're revealing that you guys had this conversation, yeah. right? That you yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, and, and, and Sophie, I know that like that, that midfield play was so interesting. Uh, and you scored that first goal, but I want to go back to in the set plays you guys had against the semifinal. Was this who did you play in semi? Southington? No, Glastonbury. Glastonbury. I keep moving through. So that was a really good game too. That was a two-zero game, and they had, we were having a good season. You guys, that game started out with you, but you know both games. How was that? You know, do you think any key to those two games that really got you guys over that hump? I feel like just like our mentality, honestly. I mean, even in the final, we went one zero down, and I don't know, just I don't know how to describe it. We just didn't really care. Like we just kept <laughs> going, um, and I feel like it was a lot different to the FCAC final in the regular season. Like we just weren't, I don't know, there. I guess, but our mentality in the final game, I think, is what was really important for us. Yeah, I mean, it, the crowd was really great too. I remember I was like yeah. recited. They, they, they were loud. I mean, they were you know, and, and so was the Darien crowd. But like yeah. our crowd was pretty loud because I remember when that when the, I think was the was the, uh, the, uh, the from from the penalty corner right from the left that uh, was it Leah that scored yeah. that, that goal right and I'm like man and the crowd is in the back and people are like videotaping and throwing water I'm like yeah, yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> this, this, yeah. this is really cool now it, it was it was an really cool like it was uh, special for me because like the first final I got to cover the first championship we as a team got you know prep zone got to cover that was pretty cool we had the football right after but you guys were before so that was really really cool um, now the sport has grown a lot field hockey 
It really has, right? And what I realized that it's, and you mentioned before about, you know, how close you guys are. And I find that around, and not that the sports don't have it, but you guys have something very special when, when freshmen kind of come in and how you guys make them feel. Can you guys expand on that a little bit about, you know, the closeness and togetherness of that team? I honestly think, like, especially for me and Sophie and Emma, like, we were in those positions as freshmen. So, like, we understand. And the way the, fre- like, the seniors and the captains, the way they took us in and really, like, made sure everything was okay was honestly inspiring because we know the expectation and we understand like how it feels and we've been in those shoes before and I think that at the end of the day our team's so motivated to win and we just were doing we would do anything to win whether it was a freshman whether it was a senior like anyone we knew that like we would just do whatever it takes yeah and and like you were uh, you were a captain last year right a junior captain and and how I mean, coming in, and was it Caroline was last year? Yeah. Caroline, and who was the other captain? Catherine. Cap- Catherine, that's right. So, like, they were, they were seniors. Yeah. They're gone. So, uh, so how was it, like, being, you know, I guess learning a little bit from them to bring to this year? How, how was it for you as being a captain last year? Yeah, I mean, our goal last year with the two of them was, like, that team chemistry, that team bonding, because we thought that that was kind of missing in the past years. So, we just kind of went around figuring out how we can like, do that, and I think it we worked that well. So, yeah, just keeping those same kind of goals to continue to get better on. So you guys, uh, it's re- and I know it's really hard to repeat, but your program has done it quite a few times, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and I know that your goal is going to be that, right? But um, FCX State, anything you're preferring next year to win if you had to pick one or both? I mean, you're going to pick both. Both, yeah. But <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah, pick both, both right? Yeah. But is Darian going to be your big competition again this year? I think like Greenwich to, could be good too. Greenwich, yeah. I know you got it was overtime. I was mentioning the overtime game too. Greenwich. Yeah. Who did they lose to in the states? Was it uh, to Darian? Us. Yeah. Was that? It was the there was the quarterfinal game at home. Yeah. That's right. That's what mm-hmm. I'm talking about. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Quarter. Then you guys went on the road mm-hmm. to play uh, Glastonbury, and then the final one. That's correct. Let's see. I, I yeah. missed the one. Thanks for. Uh, yeah. See, look, my research is <laughs> off on that one. So thank you. All right, I appreciate that. Uh, but the road this year for the FC, the FC, I always feel like the FC is a minute state championship. All the good teams are kind of there, right? Yeah. But the rivalry with Darianne, how good has that been? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And something. Oh, do you guys know a lot of the players in that team? Yeah. That's what happens, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, it, it's good, though. I think it's nice to have a challenge, you know. Um, that's why it kind of made it even that more special to beat them in the final. They almost lost to Greenwich in the FCX semifinal, but... We wanted to like play them instead because we thought it would be nicer to beat them than to play someone else. Yeah, and then you got to pay back on the yeah, state, right? Exactly. That for the big yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, that's what. Yeah. I, and that, uh, listen, it happened this year with lacrosse, right? I mean, they won the 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 FCAC and then the state. It is hard because you feel like I almost and it's like and I'm and, and I'm not great, but it's like the mentality is we already accomplished something, right? And, and it's mm-hmm. like it's harder to keep it going. And in sports in general, you see it all the time. You know, usually the team that wins the regular season. Especially hockey has a very not feel hard, but in regular hockey, very hard time winning that all because it's difficult because you, you put so much time into it. All right, so aside from field hockey, I want to ask you guys on anything. What is the opinion that you have, like the, the spiciest opinion that when you tell people about this, people are like totally disagree with you. Like I have a few and I'll share mine, but I want to ask you guys, what is it? Like you say something and like it can be like uh, your opinion about a movie, your opinion about a series, anything about a song, about an artist, anything that that you talk about with your friends and they go like, you're out of your mind. Are you allowed? You probably have one. No, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, the obvious one, definitely Messi is the best, like the best, better player than Ronaldo and anybody. Uh, uh, like I'd, I'd have to totally disagree with you on that, but I would say <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, you're right. You <laughs> there you go. It's right. I, I totally get that. It's it's almost like the Jordan uh, LeBron agreement, like in basketball. We always have that, right? Yeah. Um, like that that one's mine. And then um, I think it was two days ago we were talking about the greatest series of all time. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to build our Mount Rushmore series, like you know. And uh, then my friend came out and he put, I believe, he put Seinfeld. In there it's probably way before you guys right mm-hmm. and i'm like you are completely out of your mind you gotta have breaking bad you gotta have sopranos <laughs> i said you gotta have friends mm-hmm. i said awesome. and, and then i think the fourth one whatever you know put whatever new ones in there and he's like you cannot have a comedy into the i said you're totally <laughs> off right so that's i was i mean like it's so we had like a 35 minute argument about that now the messy the messy argument classic. Right? <laughs> it is a classic one it's like, you know, you're way younger than I am, but you cannot put Messi in front of Pele. 
Well, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't get to watch him or like Maradona. Right, and I, that's what I'm yeah, giving the discount. Yeah. Right. But like Ronaldo. Yeah, well, it's like the World <laughs> Cup makes a difference. Like, I, right. because he, I'm on the other side of the Jordan LeBron argument. I think Jordan has is a better player because he had more titles. Mm -hmm. So if I'm that, then I have mm -hmm. to give it to Messi, right? And I don't think Ronaldo ever win a World Cup. His team is just not good enough. But Messi carried the last one. And I was rooting for Argentina. I know some Brazilians watching this are going to be really mad at me, but I was. You know, it's okay. I mean, you got to get one. How about you? Kyle, anything I don't that's know. like, no. Well, do you think? Well, me and Sophie are together like twenty four seven. <laughs> like we literally spend like yeah. the entire day together <laughs> every waking hour. Is there anything I say that's controversial? I don't think so. I think I'm just really blunt. Like I just say whatever I think and just like. That's gotta be something yeah. you guys at one time said. That there's no way you're right about this. It's like there's gotta. It's like because it's. I always feel like these arguments sometimes. Even when we talk like we talk about things we like, right? And and mm -hmm. sports and everything like that. And it, and and they sometimes. People like I find it is like healthy arguments, right? So I used to yeah. get into these like my like my son and I will be watching a game and we'll get into an argument, not an argument like this, right? So talking about this, and, and then my wife comes and says, "Can you guys stop yelling at each other?" Like <laughs> we're not, we're just like passionately yeah. arguing our point, right? So, but I'm sure you guys get that, especially in, in the field, right? Some somebody yeah. do that, but I didn't see a lot of that. Like you, it seemed like most of your team really gets along well. Yeah, you know. I would say so, yeah. Yeah. Which, which is, you know, I've been around a lot of teams and like, you know, and it's healthy, right? I yeah. mean, what I mean, like, you know, they, they go out of health because everybody's kind of going for the same goal, mm -hmm. right? right? So it, it can get healthy. But so then, uh, so if you don't have a spice, so what do you, you said you guys spend a lot of time together, yep. right? <laughs> and you guys are not sisters. No. When, when did you guys meet? Well, was it f through field hockey? Yeah. Freshman yeah, year. Was, yeah, freshman year, Staples. And then now we do like club together as well. So we're kind of always together. We do training together too. You so guys do a field club of Connecticut, right? Is that the one of field hockey or no? We do a different one. Oh, the yeah, different yeah. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then now you're going to a different college next year, different yeah. uh, of the country. You're going to yeah. Princeton and you're going to Stanford. Yeah. So how, how is that going to be? I mean, let, let me start first. How, before we talk into that, let me get to you guys. Um, we'll start with Tyler. How was the recruiting process with Stanford and why did you pick Stanford to play field hockey? This is really funny because I'm supposed to call this girl and try to get her to like in the year below try to get her to come to Stanford as well so I knew from like the beginning that like from like freshman year I always knew like I wanted to pick the best academic school that I could because that was something that was important to me and I had like a very short list, list of schools which like I, most people don't but I, my list was very short and going into it I was like I had like three schools that I was like if I if I like get offers from these then like I would really consider them and I think at the end of the day, the selling point from Stanford was like, you have the amazing academics, you have the weather, and then it's also like, you have the athletic culture that I needed. You ha you're surrounded by like, amazing athletes, and like, mm -hmm. you're not having that like, oh, like, bad jock stereotype, I think. It's more welcoming oh, Yeah, you need open. the grades to get in there. It doesn't yeah, matter how good yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> like, as a yeah. sport, you need, you need the grades, right? Yeah, and yeah. I think just like the whole culture of the athletics program and how well like they treat their athletes and how much like how much money and effort and time they put into the athletes to make sure that they're all like taken care of as well as like push them academically I think was really the selling point for me. How about you with Princeton? Yeah similar I think the academics and the level of field hockey was just for me the most important. Um, they, you know they do well they have like players like Beth Yeager she's going to the Olympics now so like they have players who come through the program who excel so that was important for me to see as well yeah it, it is because it's like and you, you know and it's the, the more i learn about this you guys were recruited as juniors right so you went into your junior year already knowing where you play mm -hmm. um and, I, and let me ask you this, this is more like for my benefit do when you guys get an uh, you know offered that program do you still have to submit all your grades all your stuff like that as a regular as even do an essay and everything like that yeah, you kind of just apply to that one school. Like, you verbally yeah. committed to the admissions process. So gotcha. Like you yeah. Apply there. Right. But for yeah. Stanford, it's a little different. Like, they have a separate portal for athletes that, like, you can apply. Like, you can apply starting now, but it's one application versus, like, yeah. 20. Gotcha. So, it's like, because you, you, you go, you, you know exactly what's going on mm -hmm. there, right? And that's exciting. I mean, I I'm really think you guys are going to have a, a lot of time, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I do understand that when you're in, when you're in the Division One athlete, like you both are, it's like 80% sports and like 20% books, right? It's going to be like, it's, it's a lot of sports, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. year round, right? I mean, yeah. it's year round. You see those people doing that, I guess. But that's what it takes to be a successful program, right? Mm -hmm. And you both, like, um, 
I mean, like you said, you both want to play in the Olympics at some point. Is that a goal for you guys? Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, that'd be nice. (laughs) For me, not so much, to be honest. Like, it would be cool, obviously, but I don't know. I think part of my, like, choice with schools as well is, like, my life after field hockey as well. I see. Okay, yeah. So. Now, it would be really cool if, like, a few years from now, you guys are both in the Olympics, <laughs> and I take this podcast out, and I put it right in the Olympics. Hey, guys, here, you want to see how they were like in high school? Here it is. Right? That would be yeah. really cool. Yeah. But if it doesn't happen, it's still really yeah. cool, right? I mean, I think it's so unique. Like, you guys play on a team together, so so much friends, right? And and listen, you know, friends are like the family you choose, right? I mean, sometimes you can choose, but like, it's really, really special, the friendship. And it's even cooler that you guys get to be captains together, play senior year together, um, now I want to just talk about this year coming up. You know, we were joking before about FCX. So, um, how do you guys see the year playing out this year as far as, you know, obviously like everybody's going to be gunning for you. You're the big state champs. So everybody's their final are going to be always against when they play you guys. Um, but how do you guys evaluate the team this year from last year? What key pieces did you lose? Uh, what do you see coming up? Um, from your standpoint, Tyler, why don't you start this? Uh, well, we lost all three of our starting defenders from last year. Um, they're all seniors, so they all graduated. So we have to, I think, rebuild our defensive line. I might have to play. I'm not really sure. I was gonna, my question is going to be, are you going to play defense? I, <laughs> I'll have to talk to Ian with that one. I'm not sure. Um, but I also think just like the pressure of everybody wanting to beat us is a gift in itself because the pressure is like a privilege. And I think that you you want to be that team because – you you walk into that game and you just think that like everyone's wow to get you and you have to prove them all wrong like yep. and i also think that like we started captain's practices already like we're we're ready to work i saw that i saw that you guys yeah. was like really hot day whatever right yeah. it's like it's really hot yeah yeah and we were doing our conditioning we did the fitness test like um and we had a lot of girls show up which was really promising and i think that everyone was just like really positive and like excited for the season from your standpoint Sophie, what, what do you think this year's going to go like yeah i mean i think so a good year um i feel like richfield might be i don't know how they are but greenwich and darien definitely those are probably the main two kind of similar to our past year but yeah i'm not really sure the freshmen coming i don't think there's many but yeah i think our main thing is just rebuilding the back like tyler was saying and then we'll be good so when you, you talk about freshmen so like do and I'm just thinking, like, do, do the fr- the incoming freshmen, do they know what's going on? How do they get their news? How do they know about the captain's practice, all that stuff? Do, how, is it like a Facebook? I'm just trying to get the word out. Like, how, yeah. how do they find out about all this stuff? We do most of our things through Facebook. We have a group, and, like, we usually post, like, reminders for captain's practices and stuff like that. Got it. So it all is through Facebook, right? Which is interesting because, like, your generation now, really, that's yeah. not a Facebook yeah. generation, yeah. is it? Yeah. It's, like, it's more like an Instagram, mm-hmm. TikTok, right, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Although I don't know how you can post, like, updates on TikTok, right, <laughs> unless you're both, like, doing, like, yeah. a, uh, you know, some kind of dance and say, practice, <laughs> practice, right? It's, like, uh, yeah. but that, that's interesting. But, yeah, you, you still want to get the word out because I think a lot of, you know, and I remember um, years and years ago, because field hockey in the U.S. is more, it, it's not like a, a, a men's sport. It's really like a women's sport, right? Mm-hmm. Although in the rest of the world, it's a real big men's sport, yeah. right? Because I, mm-hmm. I remember when I talked to Ian, he was talking about the World Cups he plays and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, that's, you know, what I remember watching in the Olympics. That's, that's where, like, I guess we, we get all those sports, right? Yeah. And it's, so uh, maybe the U.S. team, I mean, look at volleyball. It wasn't much a men's sport. Now it's, it's becoming more and more in the U.S. So hopefully mm-hmm. a field hockey will be there soon. Right, yeah. So, and my point was like, I do remember because my both of my kids did a field hockey camp in the summer. Really? Yeah. They were not happy to sign on. They got there, <laughs> although they really enjoyed it. After <laughs> when they get there, it's like all oh, girls and the two yeah. of them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's uh, I don't know if it's a two. I know one of them. I can't remember if it was either Stephen or Brian. One of them did it, right? Mm-hmm. They really enjoyed. It. They had a good time. They're like basically the only boy there. Like, <laughs> well, like, oops, we're coming from Brazil, we missed that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We missed the memo, <laughs> but it was still a lot of fun. But you know, it, it it's. I always felt like being exposed to different sports is a big deal, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now, you guys only play field hockey. Did you ever play any other sports? Anything that you tried in the beginning that you thought, the, the funny story, anything you can share about any kind of sport? Um, well, I did soccer when I was younger, some swimming, but my main two were gymnastics and field hockey, which is... Your sister's big in gymnastics. Yeah, yeah Victoria, yeah. It's an interesting combination. I've got that from different people, because usually it's lacrosse and field hockey, you know, but... Yeah, I did gymnastics, and then I had to choose between field hockey or gymnastics, and I obviously chose field hockey. Yeah, good choice. Yeah. They're, not, they're not okay. <laughs> you, Tyler, you I tried a else? lot of sports. I, swimming, tennis, 
basketball. I was so good at basketball until I became 5'3", and then I was no longer good at basketball. <laughs> you lost the height. You're like, yeah. all right, well, I yeah. played volleyball until, again, I was short. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, soccer, I did try. I had a, I tried a lot of different sports. and like, good. And then I randomly tried field hockey, like, from an ad on the side of the road, and then, like. And you just stayed. Yeah. Ad on the side of the no, road. No, literally. It was, like, one of those, like, poke, you know those, like, things I stuck in, stick in the ground? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I it's was literally, I remember this. It was, like, fourth grade or something. My mom was, like, dropping me off to like morning drop off and it's just like a sign on the side of the road she's like why don't we just sign up and then it was like crazy okay. things happen you know everything <laughs> happens for a reason yeah well it's like you know in soccer i was uh watching one of the euro games the other day and one of the guy that stepped on the field i can't remember the team now but they said that he never wanted to play soccer and then his grandmother said you have to play it forced him to play soccer mm-hmm. in a barn and now he's in the national team. <laughs> right? So just think about like yeah. how crazy that story yeah, is, yeah. right? Someone who didn't want the sport, don't like it, now plays at the highest level possible. And the Euros are like the yeah. biggest tournament in the world, aside from the World Cup, you know? And so it's like, you think about that, you know, how, how things go. Um, so as you guys, uh, you know, senior year, you know, I really hope to have you guys back on, but uh, talk about your career at Staples Elementary School through the school systems. I mean, what's, um, what sticks out in your mind? Uh, how has it been? Uh, kind of summarize it for us a little bit. Well, I started in fourth grade from that ad on the side of the road. <laughs> and then I kind of stuck with it. Ever since that season, I played like all year round. I was injured for like an, a year and a half. So that was like really hard on me. What kind of injury do you have? Sorry for my I actually have an extra bone in each of my foot. And I like fell the wrong way or something. And I, it like started to inflame the bone. So they wanted to do surgery to take out... It's like right here in, my, in the arch of my foot. They wanted how did you to, find out first? Of, I'm sorry, I'm asking. Yeah. Now I got questions. No, no, yeah. So what, what, how did you find out you had an extra bone in the foot? Well, I like could not walk on my foot. And so I had to go to like six different doctors. And they're all like ankle sprain, this, that. I'm like, no, like I've sprained my ankle before and it's not this. So they, I did like so many MRIs, tests, this, that. And they found like I have extra bone in my foot. And my mom has the same thing too. So they wanted to do surgery to like just remove it. But it was like a two-year recovery because it's like your feet. And I wasn't willing to do that obviously so I just walked around in crutches to hopefully alleviate the pain and then that was like I think like a big moment for me because I was just like I realized that like I'm gonna go back and this is gonna be like I'm gonna stick with it even though it this was what year was this seventh sixth grade sixth seventh grade eighth grade wow. like middle school and then I came back and I like stuck with it and then freshman year I think was like the moment like from Staples Field Hockey where I realized that like this is like something that I want to do like all the way through college and then it Here we are. Out. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a great story. Okay, yeah. That's, that's interesting. Like, cause you just never know, right? What people go through. We, we yeah. had Catherine. Catherine had a huge, uh, you know, yeah. injury, right? Yeah. So I had him on Fox. So I was like, how about you? How, how have these years been for you? Yeah. I started when I was 10 because of my mom. She had always played in Argentina. So it's a big sport there as well. So yeah, because of that. And then, I don't know. I kind of did the Westport Youth Program. I did some club. Then I just got more into it and... Here we are. <laughs> yeah, I, and it's, I mean, and you look back, anything that, like, was there a moment that you, you maybe, feel like, fell in love with the sport or something happened that you're like, this is really my thing? Um, a game, I mean, anything. <laughs> I guess, like, I was already far deep into it at this point, but I was playing a tournament in Canada, and I, I remember I was just on the field, and I was just like, like, this is what I want to do. Like, I genuinely really love this. Yeah, you kind of you get that that aha moment, right? You're like, yeah, I was like, this, I yeah. I love this, right? This is like yeah. this is, you know, and it, I mean, and like I said, I you know, being I thought that your state final was a really cool moment for the sport and for school. Like I had, you know, I was like, you know, my first final was at, and seeing the big crowd, right? Seeing the whole, like I'm a big pregame kind of guy. Like I mm-hmm. love the pregame, I love the postgame, I love the game too, but like. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you know, the, the whole vibe before a final, right? I mean, you see the refs, you see the cameras, you see all the people that want to take pictures and all that stuff. So you get that vibe. This is kind of important. This is kind of a big deal. Like, we're, we're playing a really cool game here. Yeah. You guys feel that? Or does that pregame even get to you a little bit? Yeah, I mean, so this is actually funny because every single game before, we have, like, a giant speaker. We're, like, singing, like, having the time of our lives. And before this game, Ian goes, you're all going to bring headphones. There's going to be no talking on the bus. You're going to lock in. Like, put your headphones in. Nobody's speaking. We didn't speak for the entire, like, hour and a half bus ride. And we just sat Boy. there. And we, like, it was Had dead quiet. Music. Even Ian had his headphones yeah. in. Like, we were all yeah. just, like. <laughs> like so he went the other way. He's like, let's just focus yeah. in. And yeah. how, how did, I mean, it worked out great. Yeah. But it's like, was it different for you guys? I mean, you mentioned about it. So it was different. 
Yeah, I kind of liked it better. I think we should yeah. bring it back. But I mean, you <laughs> you're see, a captain. You guys yeah, yeah. make it happen. Let's <laughs> sure. just make it happen. Because you see, um, like all the you know soccer players or even like college level athletes when they're walking off the bus, like they get the videos and they all yeah. have their headphones. So, yeah, I kind of yeah. like that. Better. Yeah, it, it is. So I think every team finds their thing. Like if you look at the Brazilian national team soccer, though, they're somebody, right? Oh, yeah. They are, they are, <laughs> yeah. They're totally so fun. Now, when you lose, that doesn't work so well, right? It's like, all right, listen, uh, you got to win. You do all that. You got to win, right? Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's like, that's another argument I always have. Like, my take is always like, I feel, and this is just me personally, like what you just said, you know, when you're trying to focus in, you're thinking about how important that game is for you, right? And you're like, I'm, I, this is really important. I want to do this. It's like when you're coming partying, it's like it feels like, all right, you're not really taking this very seriously as I am, <laughs> yeah, right? As yeah. a fan, yeah. I want you to win, yeah. right? And that's another thing that's really cool with a uh, prep zone is realizing how much we want you guys to win. Because if you win, we have games to go to. If you lose, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> so it's like for True. us, like uh, your success really mm -hmm. like, you know, and, and that's what uh, I was so excited to be around you guys all this year. It was so much fun. And I really hope this year goes just as great. Yeah. With the ASEC mm -hmm. championship in there, mm -hmm. sure. you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you now, so you, um, and we talk about your defense, right? You're gonna have to rebuild that, and be a, a real part of that. Um, I know goalie is very important, and she's returning. Paige is returning, right? So she, what, what grade is she in? She's incoming junior. Incoming junior. Okay, so she's gonna be like, and you guys have a good sophomore class, and not so much of, fr not a lot of freshmen yet, right? Yeah. But it's a good sophomore class coming in, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. all the seniors are like. We've been there for... Yeah, this is in your class big. Yeah. It was really great you guys won last year because you kind of get to do that, right? Right, because I think it was... They won, and then right when our seniors came in, they, like, didn't win until us. You know what I mean? So, like, everybody yeah. has won one so far. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. I, like, where does he experience that, right? Yeah. It's like uh, uh, when I had... Again, when I had Ian, like, I talked about the four-year run, and he goes, well, I didn't realize... When you're in it, you don't realize because it goes by just so fast. Yeah. I'm sure you guys think about your high school careers, how fast it's going by, right? Yeah. It's scary. Like, the fact that we're seniors is crazy. I know. Listen, I, you know, as a dad, like, I, I look at my sons and how fast their thing went through, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, I still remember that first day of high school. I still have a picture of the first day of elementary school, right? And that <laughs> thing is all gone. And it's like, wow, this is went by fast. And you see, like, this, especially the seasons, um, you guys know this. It goes by so fast, right? And your senior year will go yeah. by even faster faster yeah because you're gonna try to enjoy it you know and, and you and everybody should do that but it'll be like uh you know at least there's a good point you guys both gonna play um after yeah. right uh for me i remember so i played um i played uh tennis and i played football so i kicked um you know i was a kicker and a punter and i played tennis and i remember specifically remember my last game football so the coach said you know we're in the last huddle he goes Enjoy this game. Like for ninety nine percent of you, this would be the last time you put on shoulder pads. Yeah, it's crazy. Right? Yeah. And I didn't realize it was the last time yeah. ever I put on <laughs> shoulder pads, and I went out yeah. and I hit someone. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, wow, this, you know, and it went by fast. And like I said, but since you both are playing, it'll be very different. You guys playing Division One. Um, so, what is the things you're looking most forward to in college? I think just being able, being able to like be independent and like pick like the kind of classes you're doing and just kind of like meet new people and just like not start over but like broaden your horizons and just like f figure who you are like figure out who you are as a person especially like since I'm going so far just like growing up on my own just like figuring it out that's cool Sophie yeah I feel like also probably um a lot of my teammates are going Ivy so just getting to play them um and getting to play my old teammates and stuff that'll be fun uh, oh, so you got you got some people that are going the yeah. same, same thing? Okay, yeah. Because it's guys play. Now, you're both Ivy. So are you, are you, Princeton plays Stanford at all? Well, um, Princeton's Ivy. Stanford's not. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. We're the ACC now. Re but this, really? Mm -hmm. Is that recent or is that? Yeah. Been, it's recent, well, right? I always thought playing Ivy. And then they, you know, the Pac-12 like melted. Yeah. So now we're ACC. God, that stuff never gets figured out, does it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, uh, you know, and football drives all that stuff, right? Yep. I mean, it, it's like, that's yep. what it's a revenue is. And like, everyone is doing that. And it's like, it's gotten so crazy. I still, we should all go back to what it was before, you know, <laughs> with the playoffs in there somewhere. So I, yeah, that's the way I, I look at it. But I didn't know that because I always, I, my mind, it was, how, how far ago has it been happened? Did I miss that? It happened like within the, 
like the year. I think it was like over the spring or something. I don't know. I must have missed that. Really okay, recent. yeah. Because so, I know it's like I always thought Stanford Ivy, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You kind of know that. Yeah. All right. But, you know. I like the academics are too wivy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like you deal with the sports wherever you play, right? Mm -hmm. It'll be tougher though, because I think that even the, and, and I always look at like the pool, right? I mean, there is like the Ivy schools because of all the requirements you guys are in. You know, yeah, you get great athletes like yourself, but sometimes you can't recruit. You know, some players who might be really good because they don't have the academics. And you guys, mm -hmm. thank God, both have it, right? It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. So listen, it was great having you guys on the podcast. It was yeah, really cool. Oh, of course. I, you know, like I said, I can't wait for the season to start. I think it's going to be another phenomenal season, championship yeah. season, right? Yeah. Um, we're going to talk to Ian before the season. So I'm definitely <laughs> going to ask him about, is Tyler playing defense? I'm sure that that time, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all that. But uh, I want to wish you ladies the best of luck. Thank all right? you. Go get them and go Rutgers. Yeah. Yep. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much.